Okay, so here's the best way to uh, definitively save uh, ASCII control. Uh, we need to save control code into an, an ANSI text file. Uh, what's happening is um, if we, uh, the way we can enter it with our keyboard is by using the Alt Num key. So Alt 19 enters the double knot. It's, yeah, it's just one character. It's not, uh, it's not two exclamation marks. But if we go to save that file, um, test. Let's just save it as test again. You want to over override it? Yes. I get an error message telling me it, that I've inserted a Unicode format. <clears throat> if I save it, it, let me click cancel. I'm going to say save again. If I come down here and I select the encoding as Unicode, then it will save it fine. But uh, Bobcad's uh, post processor will no longer be read. It needs to be an ANSI. So, um, if I save it though, uh, and just save it as ANSI, then when I open it up, I've lost my character. It's just that default character there. So, uh, one thing, one way to do that, um, and I did. I originally got it by a trick, which was uh, to use a, a forum to convert that Unicode character by using uh, the HTML tag for it. Now, the HTML tag for uh, that control character, device three, device contro control character for device three or whatever the heck it was, is uh, that value right there. So if I go into a forum and I place that HTML value there, when I save that, it actually inserts and converts that value. So what I was doing was, uh, actually uh, selecting that character right there and I can now select that character and place it into control C now I can open up my notepad and I can hit control V now when I save that it just saves it and I can close it out and open it up again and there it is so that character I can now insert into my post processor and uh, and uh, Bobcad will then in, uh, spit that out if I uh, if I put it in as a uh, uh, in quote. So there it is in there. But now, what if I wanted to? S what's the definitive way? Because some browsers didn't render that. I open it up in a different computer, and it and it didn't have that. Well, I asked a friend who told me uh, uh, the best way to do it is to just use a hex editor. And so what does that mean? Which is, with a hex editor, we can insert um, uh, the actual hex value. Here, hold on, let me do this again. Okay, so now that one... So now I'm going to open up a... Uh, a hex editor and I'll give you the link for that here in a second and uh, this is a hex editor that I'll give you the link for but what we'll do is we'll look for that test file there it is now in that text editor um, I actually am getting the hex values of that and we know that the uh, that, that uh, ANSI value for the character we want is 13 and so I can just change that uh, value to 13 with the hex editor right and then I'll say save save as let's open up uh, or let's save that as test 3 save and then I'll close that now I have a notepad file called test 3 and it has those characters in it so using the hex editor we can create any of those control characters by directly entering the uh, that hex or, or ASCII code for the char control character we want and create it in a notepad and from there I can just copy that value you know I can copy and paste that value uh, into there so uh, the hex editor that I went and got is a, f is a free one uh, easy it's called hex edit and here's the address right here ok 
okay I'll post that in the forum but here it is just download it it's a single executable you just download and you can launch that executable whenever you want and uh, hex edit uh, a notepad file to insert uh, whatever control character you want anyway um, hope that helps